Sam from Road Trail Run here. By far the most innovative new run product I saw at Outdoor Retailer is the Technica Origin. It comes in two models, uh, a little bit heavier XT, which is what I have, and the LT. Why is it uh, innovative? Well, it's the first shoe I've ever seen that um, is literally custom molded or compressed to your foot shape. And um, it differs from approaches that just handle, for example, um, custom fit uppers in that what Technica does in and they're a long time ski boot and hiking manufacturer from Italy uh, where hiking boot uh, where ski boots are often molded both the liner and the shell to the foot well they apply the same principles to this new trail runner so I'm going to show you where and how they mold uh, the results for all three of us who were kindly given test pairs have been nothing short of spectacular. This is, in addition to being an innovative shoe, uh, for all of us, uh, one of the very, very top contenders for trail shoe of the year. So let's get into the details. <clears throat> First, what happens is um, we have a thermoplastic footbed with an EVA front. So that's heated up. Uh, and then your foot in a ballet slipper kind of arrangement is placed uh, in a um, compression booty, if you will. It looks like a, a, a moon boot. And then it's blown up and the foot is actually drawn in to the footbed. So you have a custom footbed. You can even use it in other shoes. Um, all of this is done at retail stores. This is not an internet um, available product. Uh, the actual equipment is not particularly uh, complicated. There's a lot of uh, hoses and heaters, but um, there'll be about 50 or 60 stores in the U.S. will have the system, which goes live here in July. So we heat up our footbed, and then the entire shoe is also heated, wrapped. And what uh, Technica is actually shaping, they call it custom adaptive shape, is the rear of the shoe wherever you see the red dots inside there's a thermoplastic insert that gets heated up and then we're going to do the compression similar to uh, uh, what we're uh, doing here with the footbed uh, the medial side wherever you see the red dots is also the third roughly where the thermoplastic insert is it's very thin and what happens there is that's also heated so you have medial support so once the shoe is heated up, once the footbed is heated up, you put both in, uh, put your foot in the footbed, in the heated shoe, and then the compression uh, reoccurs and you have your custom, uh, custom shaped, um, adaptive shaped shoe. Now, um, I received my pair right there at Outdoor Retailer the first day. I put them on, I wore them all three days, and I can tell you, this is before we even get into the running part and the rest of the details of the shoe, that I had zero heel and foot pain. I always get foot pain when I'm at one of those trade shows. So I, we were very intrigued. So in terms of the midsole and the um, construction, um, the upper uh, is, um, is, we'll talk a bit more about its fit, but the midsole is also very well executed. You can see here on the lateral side, this is the softest foam, the black. Then we have a slightly firmer layer here. Um, and then uh, the firmest layer is the red. Now on the medial side, you'll notice we have a shorter, softer layer for a bit more support. And we don't have the softer um, uh, black layer. So um, all three of us feel that on the trail, particularly more technical trails, the shoe is super stable. It has tremendous cushioning without um, feeling overly mushy. I found it a little tiny bit, could use a tiny bit more bounce on firmer ground, but this is really a shoe intended for mountain terrain. Now, what else does Technica do underfoot to give it its great ride? You can see here through the, the hole, this is a black, this black thermoplastic plate gives a touch of pronation uh, support. It's a long, thin, it's a thin band that runs right about here. It also gives the shoe great um, a torsional rigidity, while at the same time, it's a very decently flexible shoe. Um, also, uh, below our nice Vibram Mega Grip outsole, we have a 
rock plate, also flexible rock plate in this area. The Vibram Mega Grip outsole is probably about four millimeter height lugs, maybe a bit more. Um, when you add all the, um, the midsole, and I measured the entire outsole, basically in this XD model, and there are two models, I'll get to the other one, you get a, uh, an approximate stack of 18 millimeters four foot and 28 millimeters heel. There's another model uh, called the LT, where you basically have a 15 millimeter uh, four foot, 25 millimeter heel total stack. Now, why the two models that are really very, very similar other than three millimeters more stack and also some differences in the upper support. The XT has more, uh, more overlays. Well, what, um, what Technica has done here is they've created two models, uh, um, <coughs> two gender specific models, but also two weight specific models for each gender. So the LT is intended for a lighter runner, uh, 55 to 60, uh, 55 grams or less, 55 kilos or less. I have the XT intended for 75 um, kilo uh, or, um, or more. And I weigh, that's about what I weigh. So you can kind of choose what kind of feel you want based on the midsole and they'll adapt the shoe, um, they'll adapt the shoe to you um, in the fit process. Now the fit process in the retail store takes 20 to 30 minutes and we all three of us, that's about what it took. Two of us were done at the trade show and Jeff Valeri was done at a retail store. It was the first one they had shaped. They've, uh, Technic also has hiking boots um, also with this custom adaptive shape CAS process. They'd done those before, but had never done a trail shoe. Now, what do you get from all this uh, custom fitting in the store? Well, you get a very, very secure heel hold um, and overall uh, stability to the, to the shoe. Uh, I don't have a picture to show you, but when my shoe started, uh, and it fit quite well. The, the heel the heel area was quite a bit wider, and with the compression of and the heating and compression of both sides, it came right around and uh, uh, gave me an incredibly secure fit. The upper is a full kind of booty. There's no tongue here. Uh, all of us thought the laces could be a little beefier, and there's a bit of folding, but uh, all in all, it's a superb upper um, with a great foothold. You in the rear from from the uh, CAS process, you also get even in a relatively narrow um, four foot uh, toe box, really a very comfortable fit. It's just about right, really, for a trail shoe design for mountain and technical running. Um, we all comment. Uh, Jeff commented, and I would agree that the toe bumper is a little soft. It could use a touch more. Um, touch more rigidity, but we also thought if it interfered with the great flex and agility, probably keep it as it is. So um, the Te Technica Origin XT you see here um, weighs um, in a size nine, 10.93 ounces or 310 grams. The lower stack, uh, a little bit less overlaid LT weighs 10.76 ounces 305 grams the footbed i measured at 43 grams so that's about double the weight of a normal footbed because of the thermoplastic so that contributes to weight but you get a really a custom um, custom uh, footbed and i found the footbed really contributes to having your my foot really totally in contact with the midsole uh, we in our written review which you can find linked here you'll see we have uh, a number of comparisons in, in just about every case, if not every case, uh, compared to say a Solomon uh, Sense Pro 3, Brooks Caldera, um, uh, um, uh, La Sportiva Bushido 2. Uh, we all thought that this shoe was pretty special and superior. So may not have heard of Technica, but uh, they're coming onto the scene here in trail running uh, fantastically from a technology standpoint and I'm always uh, interested in technology you've often you've heard of the Brooks fit station with all kinds of uh, data measurements and then a limited number of lasts and then a custom injection of the midsole all in an expensive 
manufacturing cell off-site away from the store there's a delay or um, Solomon's MESS mesh where there's a custom uh, measured upper and then you pick outsole and midsole and it's again assembled in a cell this presents a a very uh, if you will simple and rapid way to customize the fit of a shoe by focusing on forming the rear of the shoe which is always critical to hold uh, and um, the footbed and by offering um, two options in terms of the midsole based on uh, the runner's weight as well as the same options based on gender so um, Technica has really done something really neat here. One of our best trail shoes of the year so far. So I invite you to, to read our full written review.